हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर ज्योति मंडला वेलकम यू ऑल टू द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन ओपन जी एल सो फ्रॉम दिस लेक्चर ऑन वर्ड्स वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू यूज दिस ओपन जी एल इन कनेक्शन विथ जॉल वे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू यूज द एडिटर एंड ऑल एंड यूजिंग दैट सॉफ्टवेयर हाउ यू कैन बी गोइंग टू ड्रॉ द टू डी इमेजेस एंड थ्री डी इमेजेस आई होप दीज लेक्चर्स विल बी हेल्पफुल टू यू so as a first lecture let us start learning the basics of opengl and jol and i'll conclude with the installation steps like what are all the softwares to be installed into your system to work with this uh, jol applications all right so let us proceed and let us start with the first thing we'll see what is the introduction of opengl okay so as part of opengl uh, you all need to know like uh, opengl is an application program interface Uh, which will be used to create the images and it is a software interface for the graphics hardware so through this we are going to create the 2d images and 3d images and for doing that task there are uh, 150 distinct commands are there in this interface and using these commands we can specify the objects and we can specify the object operations also where by specifying the object uh, operations we can produce interactive 3d graphic applications and the first open gl is introduced in 1992 that is open gl 1.0 and the latest version is the, uh, introduced in 2017 that is open gl 4.6 open gl is operating system independent that means on any operating system we can use this uh, and it is designed as a hardware inter independent interface right and this open gl stands for the expansion of open gl is open graphics library now what is the use of this one is this library includes the commands uh, which by using these commands we are going to create 2d and 3d graphics and by the 2d 3d graphics uh, uh, we can create the basic things also like point line polygons and from those basic things we can create complicated 3d shapes also now what are all the features of open gl as told earlier it runs on multiple platforms and it is having like uh, several languages uh, support it is there like c++ python java and using this we will be creating 2d 3d rendering uh, also and also uh, we can create high quality rendering all high quality graphics uh, which provide high quality rendering okay and it will create uh, like Uh, multiple uh, graphic libraries are available where we can just use them and we can create our quadratic quadratic surfaces as an example if you take we can create that also right and oh, oh, as mentioned already as open gl is uh, an operating system independent and it is a hardware independent interface uh, we cannot open a window on a computer using this open gl if we don't have an option of creating an uh, a window on the computer screen and we cannot uh, support the input devices like keyboard and mouse with this open gl but if you want to have an option of creating a window and you want to connect your keyboard or mouse with this open gl we need to combine our open gl with the general purpose programming languages so in this lecture onwards from this lecture onwards we are going to use the programming language called java uh, where using that java we will be connecting our uh, like we can have a support of connecting our input devices keyboard and mouse and we can create a window uh, through the java programming language that means we are connecting our open gl with general purpose programming language like java right so uh, open gl is not a part of your java standard library right but we want to connect this open gl with java so in that case what we need to do is we have some libraries that are available and that support uh, that help us in adding the support of open gl to the java and that library is referred as jol i hope you all are understanding right open gl is a separate thing and java is a separate thing now why we need to you include this why we need to connect this open gl with java because we want to have an interactivity where we can connect our keyboard mouse and we want to have an option of creating a window on that window we can see the output everything 
right now to connect this opengl to java uh, both are as it separate things we need to have some libraries we already have some libraries and those libraries are called as jvogl the expansion is java binding for opengl and these libraries help us in adding the support for opengl to java right the expansion of jvogl is java binding for opengl now you let us see in detail about what is this jol and we'll see how the installation process can be done so as i already told you jvogl stands for java binding for opengl which is an open source library and that is used for combining or binding your opengl graphics in java so this is developed by the former mit graduate students the students names are ken russell and chris klein and later it was adopted by the sun microsystems and it is maintained by java on graphics audio and processing right and this jol functions whatever library we i am telling you know, that is uh, that functions on various operating systems like windows solaris mac os linux any operating system it can work but as uh, for but for our discussion i'll be working on windows operating system i'll be explaining you how to connect this jol functions like how to connect this opengl graphics in java using jol i will be discussing through windows operating system but if you want to work with mac operating system uh, you need to the only difference will be like its related software need to be installed that's it okay now what is the use of these things we it helps us in creating the 2d and 3d graphic applications right and it is having um, n number of libraries available like it is an open source library uh, where we can freely download the things and all and we can have the functionality of opengl through the java program why because we uh, most of us already learned the java programming language we all know how to do the programming through java so to uh, to draw the 2d and 3d graphics using opengl we are connecting with the java program but still we can do with c c++ also but my lectures are truly based on the java programs okay so through jol again i'm repeating we can build 2d and 3d objects and we can also we can perform some transformations uh, by using this object oriented programming tools okay i think you all can remember the transformations that can be done on 2d and 3d we can perform translation rotation scaling uh, reflection shear transformations all these transformations can be done on 2d and 3d objects and that can be done by using our object oriented programming tools okay so to use our opengl to display an image in the java program we need a gui component and it is a wrapper library and th there is a mediator between java and opengl and that mediator is called as jni functions and also this jol whatever we are going to use that is that has been integrated with awt swings and swt so if you are flexible with awt you can proceed with awt if you are comfortable with swings you can proceed with swings whatever is comfortable to you you can proceed but the procedure is same right it also includes some native windowing toolkit also which helps us in supporting the windowing whatever windows you want to display if you want to have that feature it is also included in this jol i hope you all are clear with the basic things what is jol what is opengl everything so now what we'll do we'll see the installation process like to work with to proceed further uh, to whenever if you want to develop any applications and all before developing the applications let us make our system ready with the software that are required to be installed into our system once it is ready then we can start developing the applications all right now whenever we want to make our system ready that means if you if you want to work with jol then we need to follow some steps the first step is we need to verify whether our system is installed with java or not i hope you all know like uh, what do you mean by installed in java java installation is nothing but you need to have a jdk installed into your system okay java development kit and my system is installed with with this version jdk 10.01 now how to install the software of java like how to install this jdk and all i hope you all are know this one but still if you don't know i'll leave a link uh, like how to in the installation steps to be followed to install this jdk in the description box box you can get it from there okay now to check which version you have installed in in your system to do that you need to go to the cmd 
okay and in this cmd you need to write java c hyphen version if you type like this then you can see here whatever version is installed into your system that will be displayed java c 10.0.1 is my uh, my version that is available here all right now once this is done then once this is a version is available now we can go with the second step where we need to set up our java development kit i think you all know it is nothing but setting the class path now what is the requirement of setting the class path and how to do that one i hope you all are clear with that uh, but uh, in brief i'll tell you uh, to set the class the requirement of setting the class path is if you don't set this cl pa class path you need to save all your programs in the bin folder of your jdk only but if you want to have a flexibility like wherever you want you can create your own folder and there you can create your applica uh, applications save your applications there and all if you want to have such flexibility that then um, in the environment variables you need to set the environment variables there you need to set the path i think you all know how to set the path if you don't know again the link for this uh, way how to set the path and all the video link i'll put it in the uh, description box you can go through that all right and the third step we need to is now here comes the new thing which is called as downloading jot the first two steps are basic things install the jdk and second step is set the class path now once you have done those two steps go to the third step that is you need to download the jol now how to download the jol to download the jol you ref you please refer to this website you can see here jolamp.org is the website you can go to that you click this one uh, in the address bar then this page will be displayed now in this page you can see here builds slash downloads now in that you can go to the current you click on the zip version okay what you need to do type jog amp.org and then click on the uh, builds and downloads click on the zip folder all right now that will be re redirecting to this page now here so many uh, zip files are available from among these these things you need to download see what i'm highlighting glugen java dot java doc uh, doc this one you need to download okay second one you need to download is jog amp all platforms and the third one you need to download is jog java doc this one this zip file okay check here what what are all the three things you need to download i have already downloaded that one you can see here glugen java glugen this one this one you need to download okay i hope you all are clearly following me glugen and then jog amp all platforms now what is the use of this this one is this includes the related softwares for all the platforms like if you are working with windows for it what are all required that is available if you are working with the mac that will be available if you are working with linux for that so all platforms for all the platforms what are all the relating softwares are there that will be available here and java and jog java doc this one also required so here i have highlighted these three we need to download and put it in one folder all right so once this is downloaded so you keep this one ready and expand this one jog amp all platform see extract this one jog amp all platforms i have already extracted you can see here all these things are available now in this we'll have jar files so jar files for all the operating systems you can see here android linux mac solaris windows so different different platforms whatever is your platform you can get the information from here i'll tell you what to do next but before that all of you download these three what are those three you need to download i'll show you once again glugen and this one java uh, what is this jog amp and jog java so download these three and keep it in your computer okay so that is the step you need to do now after downloading that one what we need to do you you, you have your copies in your system now the next step let us proceed that is step 4 where we need to set up this jog whatever you have downloaded for the eclipse now what you need to do uh, you need to install the eclipse software into your computer i hope you all know how to install the eclipse software that is very simple in the google uh, you type eclipse download uh, whatever link you get you according to your requirement like if it is windows then 
click that one and download that eclipse the so the version that i have developed installed is eclipse java oxygen this one you i i like suggest like you also download the same version okay eclipse java oxygen 3a so this is the version now once you have downloaded the eclipse version now then in the step 4 you need to follow some series of steps to be followed so what are all the things we need to do i'll tell you but before that i want you all to note down these steps step 1 is jdk to be installed step 2 is class paths to be set step 3 is those three files what are i'll told you know zip files that has to be downloaded step 4 is download your eclipse first and next what you need to do i'll tell you okay so here are all the steps we need to do uh, like setting your jol for three zip files you have downloaded that has to be connected with your eclipse now to do this one these are all the steps what are all the steps first step is we need to open the eclipse then in that we need to create the java project and then you need to right click on that one create one library folder and you need to copy this one so practically i'll show you how to do this one okay so what we what we need to do uh, so this is the thing uh, i hope you all are seeing eclipse i have installed this one so this is the application okay i am opening this application so this is the version i have installed into my system okay launch i am launching it i hope you are following all of you so once it is launched this is a welcome message that will be displayed you close this one so this is the editor eclipse editor so a uh, few in, in like earlier if you have developed any application that will be displayed here now i'll tell you how to connect your jol whatever you have downloaded with this eclipse okay so to do that task what we need to do is first go to file click new and click one new java project so for your understanding i'll be writing because i have already created first second third i'll create fourth okay and then the project name is fourth rest of the things you can keep it as it is if you have installed multiple versions of java then select this java i have only this version like you can see here java sc10 i have i have installed so that's why i have selected this one okay by default it will be selected okay if you have only one one uh, version installed but if you have installed multiple versions then you need to choose the correct one all right go to the next and then uh, keep it as it is whatever is there click finish now once you do this the fourth is already added you can see here and if you expand this fourth already what are all the jr library is required that is added and source one thing is added okay now the next step you need to do is in the fourth right click on this fourth uh, you click new and click a new folder are you understanding in fourth right click new click folder the folder name that i want to give is always give lib okay click finish now you have your library documents available library folder available now into this library we need to copy the jolg documents now how to do that one follow carefully so i think you all have downloaded these three this one uh, and this one and this one you have downloaded these three right from the website now expand this jog amp platform this one now if you expand this one you will get a folder uh, showing all these things in this open this jar folder okay in this jar folder you need to copy four documents clearly follow what are all the four documents i am copying you need to copy the first one glue gen rt okay this is the first one you need to select next one glue gen rt am this one for windows you are selecting so glue gen rt i'll show you one if you have any doubts you can see here uh, already i have downloaded this so what are all the things i have highlighted here these things we need to copy okay i'll show you so what are the glue gen rt natives window amd 64 so this one here it is here select that one also and then glue gen rt which i have already selected and then jolg all native windows amd 64 and jolg r okay so scroll down scroll down where is that okay so jolg all is here select that and then jolg all native windows this one it is mobile i think native windows this one 
okay four doc four things i have selected you can see uh, one two okay three four now what you need to do control c okay control c you do copy and go to your fourth in that go to library and here you right click and click paste now once you do that one then what happens in the library all the four things whatever we have copied now that will be pasted here right i hope you all are following now this is the third step now fourth step is select all this and right click and build path you need to do select build path and click to add build path now it will be added to the refer reference libraries this is the last step you need to do right so this is how you are connecting your jol whatever you have downloaded to the, your eclipse okay now what you need to do go to source new uh, whatever you want let us create one class file okay so for our understanding let me create check okay class file class should always start with capital check finish that's it so now you can develop your application here so this is the way how you need to make your system ready i hope you all have followed the steps again i'll repeat create one java project in that java project create one library which is called as which is named as lib in that copy all these four documents and once you copy right click on this and build path you need to do and in the source you need to create one class file okay now how to develop the application and all we will be learning in future but you need to make your system ready with these things so whatever i have explained the same thing is reflected here all those four steps okay so we have done this add to build path also right so this is the way how you need to set uh, how need to how you need to set up your jol for the eclipse but if you are using netbeans the approach is little bit different so what i have decided is i'll be using the windows operating system and the version that i have installed is jdk 10 and then i have installed the eclipse software and the eclipse oxygen i have installed okay and uh, i have uh, i have used the eclipse and uh, to the eclipse i have connected this uh, jol software okay so these are all the installation steps so i hope you all are clear with these basic steps like what is open gl what is jol and how uh, these two can be connected and how the software can be installed and all okay we'll all uh, meet again in the next class in the next class we'll start learning how to develop the applications what are all the classes required what are all the interfaces required to be included in our program let us again discuss in the next class until then thank you all of you